Jonathan Lee Riches, a.k.a. JLR. You guys need to, I'm calling on all YouTube creators, I'm calling on the media, I'm calling on the citizens. You need to pay attention to what's going on with the Megan Walsh, John Walsh custody battle case. This is going on in Indian River County, Florida, Vero Beach, Florida. This has been going on for over a year. It's not getting any attention and it's a tragedy of what is going on over there. You need to pay attention to this case. Google around Megan Walsh, John Walsh. Megan Walsh is the daughter of John Walsh. The John Walsh, the America's Most Wanted host, John Walsh, the hunt, you know, the one that we see his image all over the place, trying to help missing people and kids. Well, he has issues in his own family going on right now. Megan Walsh. She's a believer in parental rights. John Walsh has been trying to take away her two children from her through the court system. I was down at Vero Beach in, in, in down there covering the case. Judge kicked everyone out of the courtroom. Secret proceedings inside. Megan Walsh was pregnant. Just gave birth last week to a, to a daughter. Five days after she gave birth to the daughter... Indian River sheriffs came with a warrant signed by a judge and took her five-day-old child daughter away from her. Took her child away from her. Watch this footage here. You need to watch this. You need to pay attention to what's going on here. This is a sad story. And, you know, I know Megan Walsh personally. I've spoken to her she was great to her children. You know, she wanted what was best for her children. She took care of her children. But John Walsh is trying to gain custody of her children. All of them. Three of them. Three of them. And I'm trying to reach out to John Walsh to try to get comment from him on why he's doing this. He refuses my calls. He won't, he won't answer my emails. What is going on here? Why is John Walsh doing this to Megan Walsh? Why? Someone needs to ask John Walsh, what is going on? Let's hear John Walsh's side because Megan Walsh is traumatized here. Watch this video right here. But the, the, here's the bottom line. The order says that the baby has to go to the Seattle today. He saw nothing. The judge saw nothing. I wasn't there. I don't know anything about the case. Well, why don't you guys leave it up to DCF? I just talked to DCF Tiffany. Is right here. I understand, but I talked to Tiffany, the CPI. Yeah. And she said that we can, I said, please, let's work together. Mm -hmm. And can you all have an obligation by law to keep us together, offer services, come in the home, do whatever. But by law, they are supposed to first and foremost, family first, sunshine law. You guys know this. I am, this is my fourth and 14th amendment being violated, sir. But here's the thing. I don't have a, I cannot leave here today without your child. But if this is a fraud report, then that is criminal. If it's a fraud report, it is. Listen to me. If it's a fraud report, you can deal with it down the line. But that my baby separated then with a system. I understand. This is a national you, issue, sir, and you know that. I don't know anything about your case, ma'am. No, I'm talking about. I didn't even know you were John Walsh's daughter. I'm glad. I, well, I have no idea. God forbid John Walsh would be lying. God forbid. I mean, I'm not here to debate that. I haven't this worked. is by law. You are supposed to keep us together. I'm, I'm a five-day-old baby in a system with strangers when I am here. Well, this I, is a fraud I, report. I have the documentation. I've done nothing wrong. Okay. So here's here's the deal. I'll bring DCF up here. You talk to him. You're going to have to turn the baby over to DCF. This is sick. One way or the other. And listen to me. You can work with them. They're, they're, That's what they're obligated to do, sir, yes. is to keep the baby, do everything in their power to keep the baby. That is severe abuse to remove a baby from primary care. Right. It is. Okay. That is their obligation as a service and to the people. Right. I have a judge's order, okay? I don't want to have to force my way in. No, you would not ever have to do that. Please stop threatening but I, that. But here's the bottom line. I can't be out here all day. 
I understand so, that, but this is my baby. I, I, I completely understand. This that. is my child. Yes, I understand. They have stolen my other three children. Everyone knows that. I, I don't know anything about any of that, man. That's it. That's ignorant to say, sir, because this is a small town. You, you said you recognize me, but I don't know who you are. I, never, I thought that you were a different officer. I'm sorry. At first, this, through a window, I that, apologize. You might, know, you might know Captain Consolo. That's all right. No, I'm not. I. It was a mistake, sir. That's, that's fine. <laughs> I understand you're upset, and, it's and I'm very calm for what's going on. on. This is this is just fundamentally and in truth. Yeah, this is fraud. This is fraud. Okay. It's criminal. I want to I want to make a police report okay. right now, please. We will. We're going to make a police report, and we'll take your statement, and we'll put it in there, and then you can work with DCF, whatever you have to do to try to get your child. Back. You know that doesn't happen. They're trying to adopt my other children under fraud. Well, I don't, like I said, I don't know anything about any of that. I don't, I don't know right anything thing. about that. Please, you all do the right thing. This is humanity. The, the DCF will take care of your child. And they will work no, I am terrified. Anyone will be terrified. Your child, do you put and take into a foster home when this is fraud and you've been harassed for a year? You would not be okay with this, sir. You would you would do everything. Yes, but I would take it through the court system, which is what you're already doing with the other children is what you explained to me. On a fraud case. Yeah, but I don't know that. I don't know any of the facts in the case, ma'am. I understand. I don't. I understand, but you have to you have to listen. I, I, I am listening to you. I know. I am listening to We're you. We're supposed to all I, do everything to protect listen, children. Listen, I understand you're upset. I understand. I'm terrified. I this is not. It's not okay, and it keeps going on. We will. Everyone we, knows that this is fraud, and this is retaliation from my father. Everyone knows that, okay. sir. And, and Across we, this country. We will take a statement from you, and that will be in our reports. We filed in federal court already. Okay. This is very serious, and the sheriff's department got a notice of liability. They have a notice of liability for me and through federal court. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. You gotta dig a little well, deeper. Can we look into you that? You gotta start please? digging, this man. This should not be no, happening. I can't, I can't right now. I'm here. I'm here for for this specific incident. But that apply. This applies to it, sir. It's what, sir? What's going on? I, I just want to resolve this thing piece. I do too. I do too. I, I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to force the door. I don't. Please. I know. Please don't. I, this yeah, is... but then all you have to do is open it. And, and DCF is right here. We're not. I don't here. trust DCF. <laughs> How could you trust that they already took our other kids? No, and taken to strange doctors that testified against me and put in a foster care. Would yeah. you want that for your children? No, I wouldn't. But Again. And if it's a false report when you know you have documentation that you can give to them. Yeah, you're going to have to unfortunately fight that in court. But that doesn't protect, you that doesn't a, save my child. attorney? I got a court appointed attorney because of the legal abuse and she's done nothing. Okay. She's not fighting for my children and I'm recusing her today. Right. Nobody wants to touch the case, man. Yeah. Now, you know, now you know why. <laughs> now you know. So, I mean, we're gonna have. How are we gonna resolve this? Today? I I told them they can come in. I will give them the reports that the baby's fine. Mm -hmm. They can offer me services. I'm willing to work with them, but they need to keep my baby with me. That's by law. They're supposed to make every effort to keep the child with the parent. All right, hang on a second. Lord Jesus. They can come up with this stuff. This is not All right. It, 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 here, here's the thing. I, this, this order, like I just tried to explain to you, I understand your frustration. I understand your hurt. No, I, my child. I'm protecting yes, my child. And he, I have the documentation. I understand that there's an order, but if I have the documentation and I was never notified by my lawyer this morning, nothing. 
and she should have contacted me and asked me for the documentation. I have it, so who that is should your, null and void. Who is your lawyer? <sighs> Jennifer Hickson. Yeah, I tried to text her. Yeah, I tried to text her, and I want to do this right, sir. I'm not trying. I know you do, but we're. But here's the problem. I mean, it's again at some point. I was just told your yes. attorney was in court this morning for this. And did not notify me before, and did not get any of my evidence. Do you have your phone on you right now? Um, it's in the back. I didn't get it. Yeah, thank you. Yep, I can show you even my text messaging her. Everything, sir. I'm not lying here. No, I, I'm not saying you are, ma'am, at all. I'm a very good person, and I'm an amazing mother. My father is retaliating against me, and this is fraud. You are supposed to protect and serve. Eric is my sheriff, too, and my children. We protect and serve every day. I don't know anything about your case. I'm all telling you. I know you're telling me. And everyone's here telling you that. I know they are. Mm -hmm. That's what you're telling me. I don't, I don't have the evidence to your case. I, I, I can what... present them with the documentation. I'm, I'm even not, saying I'm that. I'm not a judge, ma'am. I'm just I I'm understand. A I'm the watch commander. We have an order. If the child needs to go to DCF, and this oh, order right, has to be. What about if that's criminal, criminal though? It's criminal because it's a false report. Don't you have to take that over? You, you, that's what you say. I don't no, know. No, I'm asking. That's I don't know anything about the case. If I have the documentation, if the claim is... Just a little bit I try, I yeah, yeah, Sorry, the window uh -huh. is sticking. I think it's... <clears throat> pardon me, the sign. <clears throat> I have the documentation that she was seen by a doctor. The claim is false. But you got to understand, I'm not a judge. I can't make that decision. All I can go off is this. It's like the laws that we enforce, and there's laws on the books. I can't. But the Constitution, these are violations of my amendment rights. That, my rights, my, my given rights. This is my got, child. The fire rescue's here, too. Wow. You're being upset. And I really appreciate you coming to the window and talking to me. Because I am trying, I have worked with them. They have made up these claims against me. They continue to fight to take my children and are ignoring this to go, to retaliate with my father. Okay. This is known. I swear on my life, yeah, sir. I don't know any of that. It's, well, it's all over the country. It's all over the country. It just isn't local here. They're all going to come here and come to you. The sheriff has already even been called. Who's going to come to me? I don't understand. No, I, my support and everything. People know across the country, and this is very wrong. Okay. This is aiding and abetting John Walsh in crime. I'm, I'm not aiding and abetting anybody in a crime. It, by going along with it, it is. Ma'am, I, I have a order signed by a judge that it's my duty to make sure this order is carried out. It That's is it. also your duty to have discernment and to protect. I can't have discernment with an order like this. I do protect. I protect and serve every day, ma'am. You're taking babies, sir. I'm not, I am not Yes, you do. You aid in taking no, babies. No, I am not. I have an yes, order. Yes, you are. Piece. That baby is to go with DCF and to be checked out by the medical people. And that's disgusting. My doc, my, I went to my private doctor yesterday. I know, ma'am. Okay. So, my baby is beautiful and yes. healthy, sir. Yes, your baby is she beautiful. She has a clean bill of health from the doctor. What is your baby's name? I, I can't give, I don't feel comfortable giving that information without uh, my lawyer, sir. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem, no problem. I'm no sorry. Problem. I just don't know what the to say. Girl, or not. Right? Yes. Okay. yes. So, so, I've just been informed that since you're aware of this order, that, that, that your child is, um, should be in the custody of DCF. And right now you're interfering with child, child custody. No, so I'm not. I'm just trying I, to do I'm just what's trying right. To explain to you. I don't want to see you go to jail. I want no. this resolved. Oh my God! What? I want this resolved peacefully. And I just you're threatening to take me to jail. No, I did not threaten you. I didn't threaten you. I, well, said, I'm I don't asking. want to see you go to jail because they're right now they're saying, "Will you not turn the baby over with this order?" And you're aware of it. 
it could be interfering with uh, child custody. You know that I'm not doing that. I know you're talking to me. You know I'm not doing that. But I can't stay here all day and talk to you. You have to resolve But this is a child's life, sir. Your child, we're not going to harm your child, ma'am. No, you're going to take her, and then you're going to then they go along with my father in DCF. Did they call Jennifer? What did they say? What so, did he say? So here, here before, before this goes any further, if you could just open the door and I can have DCF come in and talk to you, and they're going to have to take your child. I can't believe you guys do this. It, 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 it has nothing to do with me. I, I don't know anything about your case. Then as a human, I, I you should stand up as a man and a father. Megan. I'm sorry. I'm know. just, you know, yeah. it's right. I thought by law they're supposed to keep my child with me in every way no, possible. No, if a judge orders your child this is taken in front of you. So please, I'm and, running out of and time. Like he I'm said, really running out of time. Like he said, you can fight it in court now. Yes, please. But that's what I did last time, and they're ado they're trying to adopt right. my children, you guys. Please. Once you let the children go, you Listen, never see them again. They're going to break there, my there's, there's more people no, here. There's no. more people here, and if you cooperate now, it's just going to be very easy. Please, I'm running out of time. Man. Why trust? Listen, you, you have I to... I can't trust. They've stolen my other no, three no, children. Me. me. Mm. I'm going to promise you nothing's going to happen to your child. I promise you. I give you, you my word. You, they take them and you don't see anything. You don't know what happens after that. You though, don't know. Right? They already took him to Dr. Walters okay. and the attorney told right. me and asked for his deposition because he frauds cases. The own attorney, Alexis Echeverry, here in town. Can, can you just please open the door because I'm running out of time. I really am. And I can't. Um, you, you, you don't want to get caught in the middle of I know. Please. Okay, let please. me just see. I thought that they called my lawyer. Please, ma'am. I thought, did they call my lawyer, yes, sir? And oh, what oh, happened? I'm waiting. They're done waiting, please. Okay. Please. They're gonna, they're gonna come in anyway. Recording this. They're gonna have to go live the whole time. No, you said that they were gonna come. They are. I'm, I'm, I have DCF coming. I'm cooperating. Yes, please, you, you promised yes. that they were coming in and I they could are. talk with them. Come right now. You said I could talk with yes, them. Yes, oh, here's Dilks. Yeah, he's been here the whole time. He's, yeah, he's. He wants it. He wants in here so bad. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Where's Brooke? Can I please speak with you? I, I, I know my no, Dilks is on my NOL. This is not. He should not be okay. here. So can we? Can we can I do not feel okay with him being over. here. Though. All right, he's leaving. He should yeah, never well, I know. be he's, here. He's got like a heart on for this case. That's right. He's gone. Yeah. Okay. So now let's resolve this peacefully, oh. please. I talked with Tiffany, and we need. There's an obligation to keep us together. She's five days old, Brooke. Look at these two. I have the documentation. You all came last night and said that you would talk to me today, and we cooperated. I have the documentation from the doctor. They are sending it to my email. She was just there yesterday. That's a false report. Okay. That so, is a false report, and we need. I will work with you all. We can do services, but you cannot separate a five-day-old baby from its mother. I, I understand, but unfortunately, the judge has already ordered it. You all should have come, like wow. you said you today. Guys, like, you said that you were going to come talk to me. How do you guys do this job, man? That's just this is horrendous. You know this. Take I'm, I'm sorry, Megan, but it was Brooke. already ordered by the judge. So I, I have not abused my baby. I'm not anything. Where's the I'm proof? a good mother. There's no probable cause. You have no probable cause. Kids been on the plan for five days. How's their abu abuse? Seriously, I, I understand, Megan, but I five days. The judge's order, but he did say he'd like to see you this weekend if you can come in, so we can have another hearing. Well, why don't we regroup I, then? Look, my my baby should stay with yeah. me. Think about a five-day-old baby going yeah. with you all to these doc doing all of this. That's not right. 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 And I have the documentation from the doctor, complimented how beautiful she is and healthy, and what a good mother I am. Unfortunately, I can't change the judge's order, so they're just here to follow the judge's order. I'm just here since you know. Why me. did you all do this and go to the judge when you said that you were going to talk to me? You never even got documentation or anything. I have the documentation. That was wrong. Okay. That's illegal to go and do that. Well, I, that wasn't my decision. That was what was put in motion. But again, I sent you the information so you could be on there. And I was not notified by my attorney, and I have an attorney. Fidget, fidget and with your she phone. never called for my documentation, nothing to represent me. Mm -hmm. Who are you talking to? Have you not spoken to her today? No. Okay. 
I tried to text her. I can show you. And she just she just texted me about that there's an order. Operation Warp Speed. Doesn't make any I sense. I have everything. And I'm filing an injunction as we speak. We have to work together. We have to work together. This I'm, baby needs to stay with its mother. I understand what you're saying, but unfortunately, the judge has already ordered it. So it's what they say. That's just She's like a robot. The, She's a robot. Yeah. She's brainwashed. It's a robot. Look at her. Right. No. So we've made, it, we've made it this far. So here's the order. Okay? There's the order. You can have that. But you're going to have to file, and we're going to have to turn the baby over to TCF. This, that's the only way this is going to end. This is so evil, you guys. I know it's tough for you, but you're going to have to do it. Okay? I don't, I don't want this to go any further. I don't either. And, and I want you... I want my I want baby you, There's safe. your order. Yes, your baby is... TCF is going to take care of your child. TCF Listen, you safe. go... You She'll file your injunction. Kid again. Okay? You She'll file your injunction, see. and you get in front of the judge this week and see what the judge says. It's a week away. The best interest of a child is to be with its mother. um, Okay, tomorrow? Is that... If Tiffany said that they would talk with me to find a placement so it's not a foster home. Okay. Tiffany said that to me on the phone. And she said that you guys would work with me to, to, to not have this happen that way, you know? Yeah, at least work with there has to, There's got to be a we need resolution. To this There's got to be something. It's not, I mean, really, guys. I mean, you think about it. If the baby's five days old, and you're going to hand it over anything. to somebody away from her mother this quick. It's like. It, I've explained it to you. Right right now. Now. I know. You're not even. To give us like, names and numbers I know. I'm just. You're I'm just, not involved I'm, involved but, I'm just throwing right. the common sense I know. out there. I just would like to see her keep her kid for another day until they go in front of the judge. It can't happen. All right. And we're and we're and we're running. All right. My the clock is ticking. So I please, I beg you. And then you. I'm begging you too. I know I can't. I have a judge's order, ma'am. Okay. This is. I know it's hard. This is sick. This is like truth versus he has no idea. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to counterfile. That's all I can tell you. But it doesn't protect my baby. Your baby will be protected. I give you my word. Okay. I trust. You've I trust already this lady. taken my three children. I know, but I trust her. I trust her that your child. Will I trust her that your child. My will be children fine. are being abused, and your sheriff's department even went and did wellness checks and ignored it. Okay, ma'am, I don't know anything about that. I'm telling I didn't you. Know look you. at reports. I didn't know you till today. I don't know anything about Sorry, your case. Excuse me. This is my lawyer. Okay, you I, talk to your yes. lawyer, and then, and then we'll okay. go from there. Okay. Okay. Yes. Absolutely. Right. Okay. Hello. Hi, Jennifer. Um, I've been trying to text you. Well, I didn't know that it was shelter, and you you didn't notify me this morning. They came last night, and um, they told me that they were going to talk to me today. I have the documentation from the doctor. This is a false report. She was just at the doctor yesterday with a clean bill of health, Jennifer. She can't be separated from her mother. They're supposed to do everything they can. I will do so. I will let them check on us. Anything. Why didn't you fight for it? That this is a false report. Jennifer, why did you not tell them that this is fraud or that you have not? Why did you not fight for this to protect my baby? This is about the baby. But I didn't hear one thing from you, and I was told that if I have an attorney, not to. I was told that I should that I had an attorney. I was I thought that I had an attorney and I wasn't supposed to because you were supposed to fight for my children. I've been there for everything. I would have been there. Yes. And, and a baby needs to stay with its mother, you know? This is very, this is about the child. Um, 
Are you going to fight for us? I mean, you haven't really done anything, Jennifer. I, I never received a phone call from you at all, Jennifer, to advise me. I can't believe you didn't stop that over a five-day-old baby, Jennifer. <coughs> You could have called me this morning and said, you have a hearing, do you have documentation? Yes, I do. That's your job, Jennifer. I've never done this before. I'm very sorry. I have never done this before. And I was told that I needed to be notified by my lawyer. No, they ambushed me on that day and took my children. I did not know that. Well, I'm new. excuse me. What are you, will you file that injunction that I will send you? But you're not helping me either, Jennifer. I'm sorry. Well, I know that this is fraud and I know the truth of the situation. Yes, there. This is the, all the allegations are fraud, and the report was that the baby had not seen medical care when she just did yesterday, with a full, clean bill of health. I didn't know. I've been at everything. I've done everything for over a year. I'll be at anything. I thought I had an attorney finally. I've never been through court with an attorney or anything from criminal to DCF. No, for this, for, no, for this type of a situation. I did not have representation then. Yes, and I didn't have an attorney yet at that time. They're here right now. I'm, they've been. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, What's the, her name? Uh, it's Jennifer. Okay. Jennifer. Jennifer. Yeah, hey, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Sabina with Sheriff's Office. Hi. She just needs to peacefully turn the baby over to PCF. And that's all we're asking. And she's let us in. We're talking to her. Um, and then she needs to resolve it with you. And you guys need to take care of whatever you have to take care of. So, I mean, that's where we're at. We're we're here. We have the judge's order and. I don't want it to go any further than this. I just want her to peacefully turn the baby over so we can get out of here and she can. Okay. Okay. I want to change her before okay. you take her and diaper and stuff. Can they go, they can go with you for changing? Huh? Can, can one she, of us is going to go with we, you. We, we got to go. I'm we got one law enforcement okay. officer and her. Unless you change her right here. Okay? I don't want to give my baby I know away. you don't, but you have to. It's not giving you away, it's just a DCF. It and then you fight it with your attorney. My other three children for a year told me that they were going to give them back. Even All the right, judge you, said you want to tell her if you, you want, you want to talk to her real quick? Cause this Why room, do you keep the staring at me? What are you going to do? Ma'am. Hello? Yeah, yeah, can you, can you do, uh, we just want to end this thing. We, we just want this to be over with. Can you just please ask her? to turn the child over to DCF. Sure. Hello. Hi, Megan. Hi, I'm a supervisor with DCF. And I just wanted to talk to you. That's yeah, that's, okay. I really yeah, that's what I'm saying, ma'am. That's what I'm saying. That. Instead of I, I this intimidation over a baby. Oh, hold on, hold on, wait a Hello. second. Hello. Sorry. Hello. That's your attorney. They're supposed to protect this baby. Whatever she needs to change her. You know, we have oh, values. You can change the baby and then you can get out here. 
should have never happened. Pardon me? She's not going to do that. Then why didn't we do something then? Our job. No, I hadn't had the baby. When we spoke, I can't, sorry. There's a lot going on, Jennifer, I'm sorry. Ain't that the truth? Okay, I'm gonna speak with the supervisor. She's been kind enough <clears> to come up and talk and we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. You can tell her who I am. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. I'm, I'm another supervisor in the office with Brooke. And at this time, there was court this morning at 9.30 where the judge did rule that, you know, the child will be sheltered. So as of right now, the child is in the department's custody. It's a fraud report, though. The baby was just at the doctor yesterday. I understand your concerns as far as the whole, the child was born, you take her to the doctor, the first five days of her life, you know, there's that documentation that the doctor reported that you're saying that you're taking good care of her. I'm not going to argue that aspect with you. I mean, that's great that you have that documentation. Please, please, please provide it to your attorney. She's going to be the one who's going to fight for you. But there's not. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. But at this time, I'm just saying the court ordered that the child be sheltered. I know you don't want to do that. I understand she your attachment, and she is your mother. You are her mother. It's for the baby. She needs to stay with but her But at this mother. time, there's no way to overturn that. So my suggestion and my request to you, and I'm, I know this is a terrible request to make to you at this time, but is if you could please cooperate, cooperate with us so we can make this situation and try to turn it around for the best of you and your baby. And I want to, and I have cooperated, but you all have not cooperated with me at all. You have not at all this whole year. It's been attacks and harassment and keeping my children with my father. That's that case. I'm, I'm, I'm. I just want to talk about your baby girl right now because I don't like all of this. I don't like that. I don't we're, either. We're, this everything never put in here. So all I'm asking for is your cooperation. If you they want told my me number, yesterday they were going to talk to me today, and I would have given them the documentation. If you want my phone number, so you can check in with me and ask how she's doing, and I can send you pictures throughout the day. But unfortunately, again, at this point, you. You have to hand over the baby. I don't want her going to a foster home. Tiffany said Do that you have anybody that we could do home studies on? Anybody that we could look into? Well, Caroline's a mate. She's a mother and a wonderful woman. I just raised four kids. My and last we could be all, we can do services. We will work with you. I and wonder if we can stay together. So there, there is an option. We can always look into people that you give us names. That's, that's the whole process. If you give us names of like 50 people, hey, this is who we want you to look into for possible placement of my baby girl. She's willing to supervise the visits. We can do that. You just have to supply that information but to us. But for a week or days, you have my baby with strangers and being passed not around. Necessi this is a small, not necessarily. Baby. Not necessarily. You're making assumptions without the process. You're right. I've never that, been that, through the process, fine. and I so, know that you take them to Dr. Walters, which I've already no. been asked. That's where my children went before. I'm saying what happens. As to this baby, this baby is going to be taken to the hospital to look at by a doctor. That's sick. She so, just went to the doctor yesterday. I so don't want my child exposed to this. We're right. gonna take her to the hospital to have looked at it. And then we're gonna this report back to you. But in the meantime, if, if you would like her to be a possible placement option, then please give the information to Brooke or to Sierra so they can start running the backgrounds and starting that process. And we can look into her as a possible placement option. They were supposed to help me with my other children, and they didn't. This is hard to I, trust. I, I cannot, you understand and I, that. I completely understand that. I do not know the uh, information in regards to your other children. All I'm trying to do is de escalate this very, very crazy situation right now, and very heartbreaking situation. It is, and you all are listening to John Walsh, and this is this is fraud. Maybe I have a federal case. Yes. Thank you. I have a federal case open about this. Okay, we're I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not. You're going to have to turn the baby over? So. Yeah, that's, that's the Period. bottom line. So why don't you change the baby? Please. Oh my God, you guys are sick. Hello? They're telling me that there's an order and they have to take the baby and they're going to use force if I don't. Okay. Okay, you're on speaker. 
There's a deputy. Caroline, could you hold this, please, so they can hear? If you can give, that's my ADA, my um, my ADA advocate. But I need you to listen. Francesca, I'm sorry, what were you saying? Okay, number one, are you actually looking at an order? Are you looking at a warrant? Are you looking at an affidavit attached to a warrant? And is there an ink signed signature, not a stamp? Order. Ma'am, this is Deputy Chief Rich at the Sheriff's Office. We have an assigned court order from Judge Meadows. Why are you looking yes, at my like, baby's privacy and stuff? I mean, like, why are you over it? Like, I'm not saying you're looking at my privacy. I'm just saying, too. You know what I mean? Like, you know. I can't even believe you in a second. Well, you're over my shoulder to look down there. Like, I, I'm not doing anything, that's all. No, I'm not. I didn't say you doing anything. I just meant, I'm in trauma, sir, right now, and I just meant that, you know. I'm not going to argue this with you over the phone, so you can have a nice day. Wow. That's my ADA advocate, sir. That's federal. That's federal, sir. It can be universe. I don't care. Can you answer, or who is that calling? And that's everyone who lives in the home? Yes. Okay. And Megan. Okay. Oh, man, honey, I love you so much. I love you. Sweet baby. I'm so sorry. I just don't want to be too hot. I was sweating okay. and stuff, so I'm just worried about the temperature. The yeah, you can take the. Stop right there. You have no involvement in this. You have no relation to that child or anything like that. You are simply a friend to her, and that's as far as the extent you can go. You can record right there all you want. We're all recording. We've been recording this I entire know. time. I know. I'm worried about that. Yeah. Okay. I'm just giving you instruction. Okay. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Like we get a lot of rain. Storm. Yeah. All right. What's up? So we're gonna get a lot of rain. So. Yeah. We need it.
That's my son, honey. Okay. In the Corvette. Okay. In the red, the red Corvette? Yeah, the orange one. Okay. Just so you can have He doesn't know what's coming up. Oh, you're good. Oh, can you let Phil snow? I think he already got him. No, he never left. <laughs> he didn't have to. No, whatever. He's got a hard on for this case. It's fine. It's all good. I get it. I don't think there's anything personal in this whole thing. But well, it's just, you just, you can just tell by people's, you know, body language that there's certain people or some certain people are more 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 interested more interested than others. That's all. I think all. it's more of the fact that we've kind of wasted like eight cups times here. You just missed four, four like He wouldn't. He wouldn't. He wouldn't let me come out. They cop. He just told me off, and I don't care. Yeah, no, he's, I just, I just, like I was just telling him, he, he's got a, he's got a, you know, he's got a special place in his heart for this case, for whatever reason. Yeah, he does, and he goes, I don't care, I don't know anything, you just missed him being so nasty. No, he, the cop wouldn't let me come around. And you saw Andy, that he said he's leaving, and he never yeah. left. No, he never left, he was around the corner, mm -hmm. I saw him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw him. And they're all standing, look at them all standing. I know, I know, I know. I can't believe they took the kid like that. Wow. Listen again. If you do resistance, that's it. Dilks. Yeah. I need that up so I can get an ID, the name, the name, the name, or whatever is easy for you. For what? Oh, I can't. Do you need Why? my ID? Because or you're that? subject to a criminal investigation. Huh? What does that mean? It means you're subject to a criminal investigation, so you're required to identify yourself. You can either identify yourself or you can go to jail. Procedures. <laughs> No, but what's the investigation? I mean, I don't have a court order. Yeah. How did we have. Uh, because we've been sitting out here for three hours with a judge's order telling you that you're required to release. Yeah, we were talking. Nothing was there. Refusing to let us. You had your ID? Yeah. What? This is harassing. You guys already know who I am. You already see me. I don't know who you are. Well, I mean, I'm just saying. I parked you right here. Yeah. I don't even know what car you have. You have your ID, ma'am? Thank, Thank you. I was hindering. I support Megan Walsh. I pray for Megan Walsh. This is just sad. This is sad in America where you just give birth to a child and sheriffs come immediately and take your child away from you. Imagine that. Imagine if it was your child. Imagine if it was your, your child. What did Megan Walsh do in the five days since she gave birth to her child to have them come take her daughter away from her? What did she do? How do you think that child is feeling right now in state custody's hands? And John Walsh is trying to gain custody of all her children. This is the same John Walsh that supposedly is on TV trying to protect the children. But he has his own issues at home. Why isn't the media covering this case? Why isn't the media covering this case? I think it's newsworthy. Don't you? I think it is. It's John Walsh's daughter. Look what she's going through. Please share, subscribe I'm uh, to my channel. I'm going to keep sharing these videos. It was given to me by Megan Walsh's people. Friends with her. Support her 100%. This is, this, is, this is disgusting that this can happen in America. Everybody be safe. Study this case. Stay on it. Ask questions. God bless.